I'm Avery Sommerfeld, and this is today's funny news. NASA's Voyager 2 probe is nearing interstellar space 11 billion miles from Earth. Voyager project scientists stated that none of us knew when we launched 40 years ago that anything would still be working. That's reportedly what people are saying about Cher, who after 40 plus years is still performing in her Here We Go Again tour. The singer has also had her face stretched so many times from plastic surgery, it's amazing that she can still open her mouth to sing. In our next story, Mark Zuckerberg once called users of Facebook dumb fucks for sharing their data. Now, after 81,000 private Facebook messages were hacked and put up for sale, Facebook stock is plummeting. As a result of the plummeting stock, it's reported that Mark Zuckerberg is changing the name of his company from Facebook to I'm a dumb fuck that lost half my money. Also, Congress is calling for Mark Zuckerberg to answer questions over Facebook's role in spreading fake news. I say it's about time, people! And I hope they'll ask him why someone as wealthy as him still needs to work a second job as a stand-in for Alfred E. Newman at Mad Magazine. And in our next story, a PhD student at the University of Paris, France has developed the Moby Limb. The Moby Limb is a robotic finger that plugs into your USB port of your phone. The Moby Limb simulates actions of a human finger. Radical feminists all over the world are extremely happy at this invention because they'll never have to touch another man's penis again. And many handicapped people are praising the device also because now they too can give someone the finger and just say, fuck you. Researchers in China have developed a shape-shifting liquid inspired by the Terminator films. The liquid can be made to shape-shift into complex three-dimensional designs, which will one day be able to open up a new world of robotics. All I want to say is, if I could just shape-shift into my blue jeans, and the rest of us too after a big Thanksgiving dinner, then that would be pretty good. And I definitely see a whole new market for penis enlargement products as well. There's penis pumps, penis extends, and now there's the liquid metal penis. Walmart continues to try to compete with Amazon.com to try to appeal to their customer base to more frequently use their online portal, Walmart.com. One of the ways the retailer is doing this is by having a redneck fashion sales event that flashes randomly across the screen. And to further enhance their shopping experience, they will constantly display videos of shoppers with oversized pants displaying their butt cracks and videos of people fighting over 50-inch LCD television sets. And that's today's funny news, people. Good morning, good evening, good night, and love boat. Soon we'll be making another run. The love boat promises something for everyone. I'm Avery Sommerfeld, and that's today's funny news.